belt, scarf, sweater. Now the reason why I want to show you this sweater is because I know a lot of people have been looking at the Stone Island sweatshirt and I'm sure when you see the new season pricing you're going to be like, do you know what that pricing is kind of high. Now as a lot of people move forward and people will be looking for more cheaper alternatives but they still want to get that quality going on as well. I have recommended for a long time that Bell Scarf is definitely a brand to look out for, especially if you're looking to price down from brands like CP Company. With all the craziness that's happening right now, with all the pricing, people are going to be wanting to cut back. And the way I see Stone Island prices keep on increasing, I'll be looking at more pre-owned type of stuff. I'll be definitely looking at more sales and stuff like that if I'm doing any buying at all. But with regards to the Bell Staff, I think the quality of these compared to the Stone Island, I actually think that possibly the Bell Staff, to be honest with you, is better than the Stone Island one. It's got a really nice design, got lots of nice details going all the way through. I mean, look at that feature and all the designs that are going through. Really nice finishing. The weight feels really good and it's also 100% cotton as well and it feels really nice and it's got a nice kind of fit weight to it. So why not go for something like this over the Stone Island? This particular one is a size large and I absolutely love it. And not only that, but they've got a whole bunch of new season colours as well. So if you're looking for different colour inspirations, then the Bell Staff sweaters are definitely one to check out. Okay, guys? So guys, look, quick reminder that all the items in this video is available from Farfetch. Think of them as like a middleman service. They basically hook you up with some of the best stores all around the world. Authentic stock is providing you a wide range of clothing. They've actually got a massive sale that's going on right now. So if you like anything you see in this video, use the links in the description box below to find the items and also check out a link down there as well that will take you straight to the sales. Okay, right, back with the video. The next piece that I got in is actually this Stone Island knit sweater. Well, actually my business partner got that one in, but I said, let me borrow it just to show the guys. He actually went and got this really nice Stone Island Shadow Projects light knit. And what I love about it, if you look at the back, it's got this kind of see-through bit that goes at the back, but it doesn't do that too much. It's only on the top of the shoulder, which I think is a really nice touch as well. But yeah, that's the Stone Island knit. This is also a size large. Um, you've got the Black Stone Island badge on there as well which I've always said the shadow project represents the collaboration between a German brand called Acronym and Stone Island over in Italy. This is their permanent collaboration which I've had some information that could actually be stopping very soon which would be sad because it's been going on for so long but now with the change going over to Mont Stone Island going on over to Montclair we don't know what type of things are taking over at the top so there might be some decisions from there to go ahead and drop the collaboration but that might mean that a lot of the old Stone Island um, Shadow Project pieces could possibly retain their value really, um, much more. So if you do have some Stone Island Project pieces and you're not looking to sell them, do keep them because they could be some serious grill in um, years to come. So the next brand I'm going to look at is Maharishi. Now I've been watching Maharishi for quite some time now. I've been a big fan from Maharishi from way back in the day from when I used to work over in a big retailer store in central London. Maharishi for me is doing a little bit of a comeback because I've seen more and more of their stuff. For me the brand is absolute quality. One of the five things that I would recommend is definitely look out for sales when it comes to Maharishi. What I've been personally noticing is that if you can find some Maharishi for a really decent price in the sale or get a discount code and stuff like that, then you may be able to pick up a nice pair of Maharishi for a really good price. It's not a massive well-known brand, but those who know, kind of know, if you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Really nice. I know a lot of people have been looking for cargoes. This one is actually a size medium or 32 waist, and it's quite, it's got a nice kind of stretchy fabric that's going all the way around. The waist could be an absolute winner if you can get them at the right price. Now, I've been banging on about Ami for quite some time. I think their stuff is really good, really good quality. If you don't own any Ami pieces, then it might be worth picking up one or two, especially like the t-shirts or the sweaters a nice premium cotton well made um, t-shirt then this Ami could definitely be one to look out for. Now I've noticed that they're actually coming up with a lot of really cool um, designs this season so for, for example this design with the kind of heart and the A and the tiger wrapped around it this is something that's kind of a newer concept that I haven't seen but I've also seen these black t-shirts now coming with the heart logo. I really like the way that Ami are coming through really strong with their design and to be honest with you within the past kind of like two or three years they've really been smashing it and more and 
more and more people have been picking up the brand. So, so the next thing I want to show you is a pair of trainers because I've been banging on about Axel Arigato for quite some time now. I've actually gone ahead and picked up a few pairs for myself, but this pair came in from Farfetch. So I'm going to share that with you. I'm not super into designer trainers. Um, I'm not really into like the big Balenciagas and like the Christian Dior's. I think they're the B22s. Like these trainers for me personally, I think they're way too out of my price range. Like a thousand pounds for like trainers is a lot. It's a lot of money and I, I just don't think they suit me. So I more prefer um, brands like Axel Arigato, which for me are a little bit of a cross between trainers and almost a little bit like designer shoes for me because the quality on these are mad, mad nice. And the price points are not too bad, not too bad for me, I reckon. But yeah, these are the Axel Arigato trainers that I've got in and I really love the colorways of these ones. Now these ones are called the Dice Low. These are in a size 10. They've come in this really kind of nice, almost coffee like color. But yeah, the other ones that I've got are mad, comfortable yeah i will be actually trying to see if i can do a dedicated review on these so that you know how these ones go how comfortable they are but so far i'm really loving the look of them and the quality on them looks really nice now a lot of designer trainers are made in portugal so really once it, once one of these shoes are made from portugal you know that the quality is going to be really really decent okay so yeah that's the actual our guys that i got in oh another thing that i forgot to mention that i got in was this it was a pair of off-white sun Glasses. Now I was I've been looking for some sunglasses that can really something that I can use on for like holiday because I'm gonna start traveling again soon. I haven't been traveling since all this craziness stuff has been happening. So I'm really looking for something that's really gonna just kind of like stand out. I've got some really cool sunglasses, but I wanted something that was just gonna be a little bit more yeah special. So I actually came across a pair of off-white sunglasses on Farfetch that I've seen the designs so that I wanted to have a look at them. And you know what? I was in two minds because I thought these ones might have been a little bit overdone they might be a bit too much but then I realized look I wear some sunglasses that I'm not gonna wear all the time but when I go on holiday or I go somewhere nice or the weather's nice and I'm doing something nice and I'm dressing up a little bit I wanted some sunglasses that will go with that outfit these off-white ones for me were really really nice I was really glad that I went ahead and, went and um, went and purchased those ones so those ones for me are just something a little bit special and so yeah it's something that I can just keep in my collection which is kind of cool